Hey guys, welcome back. Today's episode is going to be all about getting a new home set up for the Tanuki and the Butterfly Slimes we found. Right now they're down here in the holding cell chilling with Pete. Uh, hello Mr. Tanuki Slime. So, from what I've read about in the wiki, the Fruit Tails eat pretty much everything. And the Flutters eat nothing, except for this Moondew stuff. So honestly, I think I'm going to combine the two slimes together for, uh, honestly, just logical. Uh, I'll feed them all the scraps, I guess. Um, from what I can tell, I don't know what the Phosphor Plort, or not the Phosphor, the Flutter Plorts are going to look like. But I'm going to guess that's the Tanuki Plort. And if so, that is like a super valuable Plort. That is like actually the most valuable Plort I have. And so yeah, that's, um... What I'm probably gonna do. Uh, we do need some funds, so I did do a little bit of farming off camera to get enough money to buy the second upgrade, the expansion. Uh, we can expand here into the goalie, or we can expand into the back area, which I don't remember what it does or what it what it is. Let's take a look and see. Um, I've already expanded here, haven't I? Yeah. Wait, no, no, I have not. The archway. The archway is where these guys belong. It only makes sense. Yeah, let's rush down here and see what we're looking at. Oh, wow. This this looks awesome. I really like the way this place looks. Is there a robot droid that goes with it? There was one that goes with the other one. Uh, I don't hear one. There might be one closer. You know, these archways are giving me the same vibe as the archway that Hector went through from the last game. Oh, let's not fall in the slime sea. Alright, well, anyways, let's get this set up. Uh, I think we'll go for the middle sections here. will be the slime. This will be where they live. So let's get this corral set up. Can you please not fight me, game, for just like five seconds? Oh, God. There we go. I did it. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna give me trouble here, too. Here we go. High walls. Airnet. Neither of these guys are sensitive to the light, I don't believe. Now, Tanuki slimes can eat everything. So, that is something that needs to be remembered. They can eat everything. So, here's what we'll do. We'll just place a garden here. Um, this is a gamble. We're gonna try it. Ah. Alright, it was worth a shot. They can eat everything, so I honestly think we should feed them some carrots. So that'll be what we start these guys with. We're gonna have four. Give me this. Okay, one, two, three, and that would be my fourth one. And eh, we'll go five. See you losers later. Uh, yeah, let's grab this. Let's grab the carrots. They are not ready to go yet. Oh, wait, no, I already grabbed them. What? I don't even remember doing that. <laughs> Go throw that in there. Let's upgrade this enough that... Right, that's as much as I can upgrade it. We will start these... That's a problem. They can fly. Um, yeah, that's a really big issue. I did not know they could fly. What does your plorts look like? They do have that multicolored prismatic port style. Let's feed you this. And you produce... One... Which then I can make him... Can you eat it, man? One of you one of you eat this. The ringtail plort. Perfect. Now I feed you this, and technically you should want both, right? No! I want him to eat it. I think all I did was cancel him eating it. There we go. Now he produces a bunch of them. And then the chain reaction has started. Oh my god, that was a slime. What? Uh... Can I fix them once they once they do that? Or do they only come out at night? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What if that's the case? They only come out during the night. Is there anything in the Slimepedia about this? Okay, let's take a look. Ringtail slimes are nothing but trouble. Theft under the cover of darkness is their favorite hobby, and they delight in getting away with as much as possible before the sun rises. The reason for this exclusively moonlit crime is that rings have a peculiar condition that transforms them into stone when exposed to sunlight. 
We're not saying this is an ancient curse. They're definitely the type of slime that would have an ancient curse if that was a thing. Does that mean that these two are dead? Like, did I just kill them? Um, let's, let's pick up all the ringtail plorts for now. No, 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 no. We will not eat that. Alright, well, we'll be right back. Let's go, let's go buy these guys a nightshade. And hope that they are not permanently screwed. Because I think I might have just killed two of my ringtails if I can't revert them. Okay, let's rush through here. I do need some extra cash, so we'll sell the flutter plorts. Check, check, check. Now let's grab myself some rock plorts so I can get myself enough to buy them. Grab the rock plorts. Throw that in there. 36, 420. How much is it to upgrade something tonight? I think it was 500 of the thing I saw. Okay, here we go. I think I... I, I did read something about the Tanuki slime, like, being able to be statues at some point, but I forgot that I had read that. I think that's how I knew that was a thing, but I wasn't, like, fully sure. I just said that I thought it might be a slime. Okay, here we go. Let's buy yourselves... Okay, let's... let's... Solar shield. Yay! Yay, they're not dead. Okay, perfect. I completely thought that I had just murdered, uh, both of them. Not looking after them correctly. Wow, they are pretty cute. Okay, it seems like when they're Largos, they're too fat to fly. Which is really, really useful. Okay, perfect. Now that now that these guys are set up, let's take a look at them. These guys look great. <laughs> that dude has the funniest face. Uh, now, it did say they were into thieving and, like, stealing. I hope that doesn't mean they're going to start trying to steal other slimes, like, plorts, and turn themselves into tars, because... There was a slime that would kill itself in the last game. I think the Tangle slime would, or the, the Dust slime. It would grab plorts, eat them, and kill itself. Yeah, these slimes don't really have the best self-preservation -pres skills. Well, honestly, I think I will be heading back to the Nectar area to start collecting Nectar, so I will see you guys in a minute. Oh, hey, Pete. Welcome back, guys. Uh, this is only going to be for a little bit, but I just found a story thing I want you all to see, so let's see what it says. Hey, B, those drones you've been finding all over the island, there's something weird about them. Hmm? Hey, I got eyes in the sky and I'm gonna use them. I'm also raiding a team of drones to head over there and check things out in a more hands-on fashion, but I digress. Anyways, the drones seem super advanced, like almost alien, so I thought, okay, there's some aliens out there checking out the Rainbow Island just like you, but no, I don't think so. Because it looks a lot like the drones we use, but so much more familiar to me, almost like they're giving me deja vu. It's kinda creepy. Hey, don't be scared, it's probably just aliens, giant three-headed aliens with huge claws that are looking for humans to capture or eat, or both. Later, B. You know, honestly, I'm wondering if this isn't some kind of, like, time issue at that point, because she said the drones look very similar, so it could be, like, some kind of time something, or it's Victor from the first game, or Hector, or whatever the dude's name is, from the first game. And if that is the case, why is he here? It talked about he wanted to leave the area and then come. he ended up coming back. It talked about some kind of event called the Melochromatic event or something. I forget what it was called. Hmm. And then it talked about wanting to find a way home, like he was trapped here for a little bit. Well, anyways, um, that's something to think on. I will be right back, and I'll teleport us to when it is time for me to feed the fat guy. Right, guys, we are back see. again. Hopefully, this guy ate all of the 20 from earlier and multiple other. He needed one more. I'm so mad. What in the world? Oh, it was just shaped weird. Hello, Mr. Army of Hunter Slimes. Also, don't I need some of y'all's plorts for something? I feel like I do. Let me grab some. Might have been the Tanuki's ports I needed, but I don't know, it looks close enough. Alright, let's open this up, see what's in here. The Azure Shrubs. Can do any of you guys want these chickens? I do not need the chickens anymore. One. Two. Okay, that should be more than enough. Alright, let's head up here. This area looks cool. Oh my god, who would have guessed it's another dead end? I hate dead ends so much. 
Well, that was a waste of time. But hey, at least we got a cool little, like, shrine thing. Alright, well, let's head over to the Butterfly Largo, then, and see if I can't get enough honeydew to make him blow up. So I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. Oh! Oh my god, it's a frickin'... It's a, it's a Tanuki Gordo. Move. Okay, well, time for me to just start looking for everything I possibly can. Also, the butterflies are back out. Does that mean it's time for me to start collecting the nectar I need? Here, eat these. Um, I did find out that the moon flowers only come out when the moon's out. Who would have guessed? So, I am waiting for the... Oh, hey. I'm waiting for the moon to come out so that I can actually collect some. Give me this. Oh, hey, Mr. Phosphor Slime. No, that's, I'm not going to drop everything for one carrot. What is this area? Uh, I'm going to jump. Okay, so we now have a Tanuki that needs to be, like, uh, fed until it explodes. I don't even want to know how much the Tanuki can eat. Get out of here. You guys can have the chickens. Yeah, that's the only thing I dislike about this game is sometimes when it's like nighttime or about to become night, like it is so bright red you cannot see. But even that's not really that big of a deal. It's just kind of slightly minor annoying. Uh, chickens. Seems like everything in this area. Oh, that's the, those are the nectar producing flowers, I think. It seems like everything in this area tends to be night only slimes. Which is. Kind of annoying. I almost wish I had put the Tanukis in the... Like, the Tanuki butterfly combos in the, uh... Grove. Oh my god. Jeez. Let's get you out of here. See you later, loser. Alright, let's start feeding this thing everything we can. Okay. It just ate all of that, didn't care. I was expecting that, honestly, though. Yeah, that thing's gonna take forever to pop. Give me this. Give me this. Chicken. We'll take the chicken. We'll run up this way. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore- I'm pretty sure I caused that tar outbreak because I started offloading uh, tabby ports. Or not tabby, uh, tanuki ports. By the way, the reason I'm calling these things Tanukis is because they 100% look like a Tanuki. If you don't know what a Tanuki is, it's a, um, it's like a, it's like a type of raccoon from Asia, I think. And they're known for stealing stuff. They're like a mythical creature. And sure enough, I, I don't know anything about them turning to stone, but I also don't know much about Asian, um, like mythologies. Also, where's all the nectar that's supposed to be everywhere right now? I'm not seeing any of it. Give me all these chickens. I need every single chicken I can get my hands on. I'll take these. I'm just like, I'm literally a glorified shopper. Shopping for stuff that the Tanuki will eat, because he'll eat literally everything. Oh, whoa. Ringtail rock lawyers look awesome. I'll take this. Yeah, I, I am running into an issue of it's moon, like it's moon time, and I don't see any nectar anywhere. I think it's because we need to, uh, like, uh, find the blue open flowers. But I almost remember there being nectar here earlier. There definitely was, wasn't it? That's a beehive. That is not what we're looking for. Oh, that's a moonflower right there. That definitely looks like a moonflower. No. Man. Alright, I'm just gonna go up this way. Oh, I got bit. Alright, here we go. We'll wait here for just a second, and then we'll run up as fast as we can right here. I don't, actually, I can't get up right here. Alright. 
What about from... No, I'm not going to be able to make any of these, am I? Maybe, maybe from right here I might. Yeah, right here. That's the sweet spot. Let's grab this. Yeah, these. this is the moonflowers right here. Uh, I'll come back. Yeah, I'll come back. Alright, let's feed everything we have to the Tanuki. Get out of here. Okay, perfect. This should be enough to pop him. Like, this is a metric ton of food. Come on, man. I'm gonna need you. Like, I just need you to eat this, explode, and then I can get out of here. This definitely looks like a portal spawn. Oh my god. I thought he was about to eat all of it. Whoa. A new portal. I'm gonna figure out where this goes. Hey, let's go! This is a portal way that goes all the way back home. That's great. It's a shortcut. That's sick. Okay. Well, now it's time to collect an insane amount of me uh, dew. Yeah. No, you guys cannot eat it. No. Get away. Okay, so it seems like not all of the flowers produce nectar. Not all the time, anyways. Some of these do, though, it seems. Oh, I fell. Hey, that, that chinging sound isn't them stealing my coins, right? I, I wasn't paying attention, but I just keep hearing a sound that sounds like money being deposited. And it did mention that these guys do steal everything. Also, please tell me I'm not going to have to collect, like, 20 nectar to pop the big honey dude. Like, that is going to suck. So bad. Also, wasn't there a thing right here that I was going for? Uh, I guess not. Unless I got it. Am I stupid? I might be stupid. Well, this definitely looks like a secret area. Free prismatic ore. I'll take. A radiant ore. Yeah, let's go this way. That's an area I can explore. Uh, no. Honeydew. What a... It did say they could eat normal nectar, but I don't know where to get normal nectar yet. Uh. There, that, there's some. I don't know where it fell from, but there is some here. So there's little giblets of it scattered around. Oh, this is going to take forever, isn't it? Well, I guess I'll be back whenever I've got all the nectar, boys. See y'all then. Oh, hey, a drone. I used to start my mornings with a jog along this path. It felt so great to feel the sea breeze as I'd make my way to the hollow trees ahead. Sometimes I would even come back at the end of my day to watch the sun set. But I also think this is where I got robbed by a ringtail slime. I told you those ringtail slimes would steal things from people, bruh. I'm gonna watch in the video and see that I've gone in debt because the ringtail slimes took everything from me. Uh, any moon dew over here? Wow, this is just gorgeous. Where am I? Oh, there's a moon dew thing up ahead. I need to check this out. Oh! Whoa, I just found one. It's the, uh, it's the fat guy. Oh, wait a minute. I know exactly where you go. You probably make up a shortcut that takes me up here. Can I, can I get up there on my own? There's no way in hell. Oh, hey, a treasure pod. Pink glow shrooms, okay. Well, we now know where that guy lives, so that's something to note. Oh, and I missed my deadline. It's morning. Ugh, I hope six is enough for him to be satisfied, but it probably isn't. Man. Also, I hope I'm not stuck down here. I have no idea how I got up here. Or got down here. I fell down? No, no, it takes me straight up. Okay.
Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna feed him my six meadow nectar or moonlight nectar, but it doesn't seem like he really cares all that much. Oh, well, you know, another one. Um, are there any others around? Uh, it doesn't appear so. Well, honestly, I'm pretty happy with this video. We did a ton of exploring. We managed to pop one of the Gordos. We explored an underwater cave, and then we discovered this guy, and we got a portal back home. Honestly, though, I really wish we could have cracked this guy this episode, but I'm just, just out of time. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and in the next episode, we will definitely be breaking this guy. So I'll see y'all then. Bye bye